Our photo walk today is in Palos Verdes, California. This is an area of Los Angeles, right? That's Los Angeles. This is our little Hawaii. This is where I bring out of town guests when they come to visit. To really wow them, I'm hoping the photographs on today's photo walk will wow you and inspire you. Let's take a look around. For a lot of people, it's a hidden secret. It's a huge hidden secret. Don't tell anybody. We, we, we love it this way. It's uh, rural, huge amounts of tracts of land where you can go hiking. Um, it's almost like I'm in another country. It reminds me, some parts actually remind me of Greece. My favorite part, just looking at the water. It just feels so relaxing just to stare out there. I could never get tired of that view. Remember that the Photo Walk series is all about bringing photos and videos to life, showing you the best places to get your shot that will light up your social media. Palos Verdes is at the tail end of the 22-mile bike trail that extends all the way from Pacific Palisades down to Torrance Beach, which is really the tip of Redondo Beach. Drive up the hill all the way and you will end up in San Pedro. The coast continues by taking the Vincent Thomas Bridge to Long Beach and then it's on to all those Orange County beach cities like Seal Beach, Huntington, Newport, and Laguna, and eventually San Diego. The population on the peninsula is around 90,000. It's an island-like paradise lifestyle in that it's far from everything, which means once you're up on the hill, popping into LA to work or catch an event is a chore. I mean, I think geographically, it's far enough removed from the folks in Hollywood that they don't make it all the way down here. People have to work to get here, which um, keeps it remote. We like it this way. This is great. So <laughs> Finally, three photo walk spots to point out. First of all, Bluff Cove, that great hike that takes you down the cliffs to the water, is on Paseo del Mar, just down the street from the neighborhood church. The best spot for a killer overhead shot of Redondo Beach and the city lights is at the corner of Via del Monte and Paseo de Sal. And the best hike at the very, very top of the world is at the tail end of Crenshaw on the corner of Park Place. It doesn't get any higher. And if you have no interest in climbing, the swanky Terranea Resort is just down the road with ample photo opportunities on the beach. And speaking of photos, I'm here with my friend Achan, who has been generous enough to let me come over and take over his deck. Thank you. Happy to have you. So if you had to pick the three photographic highlights of PV. Ooh, that's hard. Uh, uh, the church. Uh, this church and the Wayfarers Chapel, um, and then just ocean shots, but they're ocean shots from all over the peninsula. Now let's pull out our cameras. Today's photo walk challenge is how to improvise your way out of really bad midday crappy light. It's terrible for portraits. What to do? Let me show you. I brought my friends Derek Latoya and Baby Hudson to my favorite spot in PV, Bluff Cove. It was a bright, glary summer day the worst lighting for portraits. Uh, this, is, this is a common problem in that when the sun is out like it is, it is putting patches all over your face. We don't have a fix, but the obvious fix is to have you come over here and have you against the mountain. Come on over, guys. Okay. And all of a sudden, all those patch problems are gone. All right. Latoya showed us how to get some great baby selfies with Jarek and Hudson in the optimum lighting. 
But yeah. you're holding up the phone in oh. selfie mode. Yep. In selfie mode where you have perfect lighting. Right. And Latoya is doing your work for you, making <laughs> yeah. the funny faces. Yes. And that's good. So we're creating our own photo studio that's down great. here. We have okay. the person out there waving and then, yes, yeah. selfie But you mode. got the best shot. So if you had switched, uh, Hudson would have been in bad light instead of Latoya, who was not photographed in the first place. Absolutely. Okay. With the sun behind them, the water was blown out, but their faces looked great and ended up with my favorite shot of the day, which I enhanced by lightening up their faces and making it black and white, thus a little bit more dramatic. When we headed over to the glass church, we got lots of great soft light, but we had to make a few adjustments, right? So we couldn't be in more challenging light with the sun coming down on you and stuff. Uh -huh. You see the big ray of light there? All I ask is that you move up a little bit. Okay. And without the sun directly on your face, you're looking great, even on a smartphone, which okay. I will prove to you. Shall we selfie? Sure. Uh, here, I'm gonna selfie with you guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, and you know my selfie trick, right? Timer. So that will give us 10 seconds to get in position and get the arm all right and be ready to smile when it goes off. Hey, we got some eyes going Finally, there. show me some greenery in the shade and I'm a happy photographer. <laughs> we got great light in this covered walkway as well. It was a little crowded, so we had to improvise. Now normally I would wait these people out and, or ask them to leave. It's Sunday, I'm not gonna do it. I'll just crop them out of the shot, right? We stopped for lunch in the Golden Cove Shopping Center, home to the world's greatest Thai restaurant, Swan Thai, the world's greatest Subway restaurant, and the world's greatest Starbucks reason, killer ocean deck. Any, fo any photo tips that you picked up on from today? Yeah, I mean, typically you would think like, oh, I just want to take out my camera and shoot the picture. But now, now seeing you guys do it, it's like, oh, look for this type of light, get in this, get out of this shadow if you have these tricks. Time for a quick recap of my top 10 favorite photo walk shots from our trip to Palos Verdes, California. So that's our photo walk video from Palos Verdes, California. If you enjoyed this, please like, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please stay tuned for more photo walk videos. We've been to the Golden Gate Bridge, the Hollywood sign, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach. We just went to Balboa Island. Check them out, stay tuned, and let's go out and get some really great photos.